it's March 10th, I think. Pretty sure it's March 10th. Seems like March 10th. Um, yeah, it's March 10th. And I'm going to tell you the 10, speaking of 10th, the 10 best Umphreys McGee songs. Umphreys McGee were an amazing band. They were great at um, jamming, soloing. Brendan Bayliss and Jake Sinninger, both incredible guitar players. Uh, Chris Myers, great drummer. I never saw them with Mike Miro, the original drummer. Um, I saw most of the shows in between like 2003 to 2012-ish. I'll try and catch them now because I live in Chicago, so hopefully I'll get to see some shows. But anyway, these are my favorite 10 Humphreys McGee songs. Sorry. I'm trying to do this with live bands because I'm trying to review my favorite records from bands that make studio albums, but for live bands... You have to just tell what the best songs are live, and then hopefully you can buy a ticket and see somebody perform it, and then you can understand. Anyway, there are a lot of good Humphrey McGee songs. They're a very good band. They're criminally underrated, I think, just as a band, as like a prog rock band, or they incorporate so much stuff like metal and funk and reggae and folk and emo shit with really dark shit. Like psychedelic shit with really un, like realist. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of like stuff that's perceived as corny, perceived combined with very tasteful stuff. It's very complex, beautiful music. I love Humphreys McGee. They're one of my favorite groups. Anyway, top ten. This was really fucking hard. This was a very hard list to make. There's way more than 10 good Humphreys McGee songs. So shout Bridgeless, 2x2. Two two. How is 2x2 two two not in it? Andy's Last Beer's not in it? There's only 10. I only have 10. I only have 10 songs and I only have 5 minutes. Such is my lot. Anyway, shout your Junk, shout Mulch's Odyssey, shout Wife Soup, shout Party and Peeps, Plunger, Hangover, Linear, Fucking Der Bluten Cat? Please tell me Der Bluten Cat is on here. No, it's not. In the Kitchen of Utopia Fur? Not on here. Hey the Snooka. There's a there's more I could list. These are all not these are Anyway, these are there's a lot of good Humphreys McGee songs. The top ten, in my opinion, ten forties theme. Forest theme always gets me because it starts with that like metal rocket and then you're just in the funk 40s. Fucking Slacker. Slacker is one of their best just straight up songs. Lyrically, I love this song. I identify with it a lot. And it's just beautiful. The guitar solo is so good. Number eight, Miss Tinkles, Overture. Beautiful piece of music. Um, difficult to perform. It's complicated music. Glory. I love this chord progression. This is barely a song. It's more of like a solo, but uh, I just love Jake's solos. I love a Bayless, a Brendan solo too. Almost as much. I like the Jake solo a little better usually. Not gonna lie. It's like the Al Chuck solo. It's like usually I want the Chuck solo, but sometimes Al beats Chuck. Sometimes Brendan beats Jake, I feel like. Nothing too fancy. Fancy, deceptively fancy song is number four. Much Obliged, number three. This, I think, is the best Humphrey song to play for somebody who doesn't listen to jam bands because it's actually a good song by itself if you don't already listen to weird music. Heard Birdbath, number two. I love this song. I had this show from 04, I think, that I got on Archive that had a really good Hurt Birdbath, and listening to that is actually what got me into going to shows and uh so number one is obviously jimmy stewart every time you hear those jimmy stewart chords pick up you know you're in for a jimmy stewart no it's all in time of course it's all in time you know all my flaws tell you about my cars tell you about the reason Hare krishna this is five 